is an enormous problem that affects a lot of people and I think it is one that isn't given much attention but actually has an enormous impact. It does affect your whole demeanour and your whole approach to life um, and I think that's an enormous aspect that we are neglecting. And If a GP sees a patient who comes in complaining of osteoarthritis or joint pain, then um, they can refer into either myself or to a Linda, the healthcare assistant, and we can talk with them about things like pain relief, exercise, weight loss. The overall aim is to try and encourage patients not to see, I've got osteoarthritis, I need a joint replacement, but there's actually a lot that I can do to reduce that risk of having to go through extensive surgery which doesn't come without its problems um, so it is things like um, changing the negative image of osteoarthritis being wear and tear to actually being wear and repair you can improve the function of the joint by strengthening the muscles round about people who are overweight by reducing their weight uh, encouraging exercise, encouraging healthy diet and lifestyle, um, and appropriate use of analgesia. I think it's perhaps taking a lead role within the practice for um, encouraging other staff to be aware of this problem and also trying to create links, trying to create a network amongst nurses within the locality so that they can support one another. The, when patients come in to see me for their medication reviews or their other reviews, that I'm sort of focusing on this problem and, and actually identifying it, whereas perhaps it hasn't been identified before. So the guidebooks have been very useful um, in terms of source of reference for patients and they're very enthusiastic to take something away. Um, I think that's the message that we've got to get through to people here is that they can walk out of that room knowing that they, they've got support and there's something that they can take responsibility for and to be positive about it and it will have beneficial results even if they take a long time to achieve. I've also um, on the television screen that is presented in the waiting room where patients are waiting for their appointments had um, you know, the, an adaptation of the poster to advertise I suppose the service that is available. I think one of the some of the qualities that make a good um, champion are having a passion for the condition, being enthusiastic being persistent as well um, and an encourager because you need to encourage patients, you need to encourage other staff.